in an alternate reality of the universe. One day, out of the blue, bubbles start raining down from the sky, worldwide. They are so large in number that people are amazed at such a phenomenon. The bubbles didn't turn into wander right away, and soon surround surrounded the entirety of the world. Mass chaos spreads all around, and suddenly a mysterious explosion occurs in Tokyo. Hundreds of people were killed during the explosion, which creates a huge bubble that surrounds the entirety of Tokyo. By the time the bubbles start exploding, the whole city is already submerged in water. Only large skyscrapers and tall buildings are above water. This whole phenomenon renders the city unlivable, and people start leaving the city in large masses. Only scientists and researchers enter the city hoping to find the reason behind the strange phenomenon. However, the researchers also can't find out what exactly has caused the phenomenon to occur. Even after extensive research, they are left clueless and they too leave the city. The government then decides to label Tokyo as a restricted zone for all the people. Five years later, Tokyo is now a place inhabited by teenagers and orphans and very few researchers. The teenagers, unlike the researcher, have come here in hope of participating in an illegal game of Parker called the Battle Curves. People play this game for the thrill and also the prizes, which are food supplies to last them enough for a week-long stay in a now completely empty Tokyo. The appearance of the bubble has created several gravitational anomalies and the participants of Battle Corps use these anomalies to heighten their Parker abilities. The game is simple. The participants are divided into two teams and each must be able to get from point A to point B and acquire a flag. The team that reaches the flag first wins. However, the two locations are several skyscrapers apart, and the teams are allowed to use force to eliminate the other teams by pushing them into the water below. The games are the only thing that maintains order in Tokyo, as almost all the people participate in these games. Many of the teenagers that live in Tokyo have created teams to participate in the Battle Court games. One such team is Blue Blazes, a regular participant of the Battle Court games. They are pretty good in the game and almost always reach the finals alongside their rival, Team Undertaker. The main reason that they are so good is because of their ace. Hibiki was the ability to make super large jumps using the bubbles. Hibiki has the ability to use the bubbles to jump furthest, which is an ability that all of the others lack. The blue blazes are extremely grateful that Hibiki is in their crew. Hibiki, however, is a very reclusive boy and at the peak of his teenage, the 19-year-old boy almost always has a headphone around his ears and tries to act cool even without noticing the team. Although grateful for his being with the team finds it difficult to actually make friends with Hibiki due to his lonely and reclusive behavior. The Blue Blazes also have a researcher friend, Makoto, who watches all of their matches in order to analyze the anomalies in the gravity field in and around the Tokyo bubble. One day, after winning one of the weekly Battle Corps games, the whole team returns back to their base and celebrates the victory. However, like always, Hibiki is not among the team members celebrating. He is outside, staring into the Tokyo Tower at the center of the city. Makoto comes outside and tells him to come inside and celebrate with the others. Hippie, however, doesn't want to indulge himself in underage drinking and rowdy behavior. Told you he's a cool kid. He tells Makoto that he can hear a beat coming from the tower. Makoto assures him that there is nothing but a strange light in the Tokyo Tower. But Hibiki is pretty confident that he can hear music coming from the tower. Makoto is confused. She thinks Hibiki is making stuff up and warns him that if he is planning anything funny, she will report him to HQ and they will all be kicked out of Tokyo for good. Her threats are playful, however, and she snatches away Hibiki's headsets. But just then, Hibiki hears the music again calling for him. Without a second thought, the boy jumps onto the motorboat below and races to the tower. Hibiki reaches the tower, which is in itself the precise representation of the chaos that has engulfed the entire world. The torn down tower, however, still stands due to the gravitational anomalies, and it looks like Hibiki has climbed the tower before. He starts using his Parker skills to reach the top where the light has been coming from. As he does so, a small sentient bubble can be seen following him around. Just as Hibiki jumps high to reach the light, he is distracted by seeing that a young boy is there already, staring at the sky. Hibiki's hand flips and he falls straight into the water below. His clothes get stuck in the train below, and he is dragged down. The bubble notices Hibiki drowning and jumps down to his aid. Pretty sure it's useless, but it jumps down regardless. Hibiki is dragged down to the bottom of the city by the train and has almost given up hope. His struggling breaths fizzle out as bubbles. The bubbles formed by Hibiki's final breath suddenly rise up and surround the sentient bubble that had followed him down. The bubbles fuse and suddenly create a beautiful young girl almost of Hibiki's age. She quickly rushes to Hibiki and kisses him, giving him her breath, and drags him out of the water. However, when she tries to check on Hibiki outside of the water, her fingers revert back to being a bubble. It's almost as if touching Hibiki would turn her back into her bubble. Form Shin, the unofficial authority of the Battle Corps games and the acting guardian of the children in Tokyo arrives the next day and brings Hibiki and the girl back to the Blue Blazer's base. The girl, obviously being a literal bubble, has a lot of difficulty at first settling into the human environment. 
She doesn't know what to do, what to eat. She can't even speak to begin with. All she does is stare at people and follow Hibiki around. She is pretty amazed and in awe of the human world, and makes friends with Makoto as well. The girl turns out to be quite the Parker expert herself and impresses the whole team with her skills too. Since the girl has no recollection of who she is and is acting pretty suspicious, Hibiki decides to give her a name himself. He names her Ada, which means song. The next week's battle core match begins, but this time the Undertaker group is dominant. They have managed to acquire special boots that use water to propel them to large distances. Since there are no exact rules to supervise the games, they are allowed to basically cheat the game. And when that night, Makoto decides on the book she wants to read next, Yuta stumbles upon the library. She also chooses the book, The Little Mermaid, whose story somehow intrigues her. Makoto explains to her the story. And as they sleep, she also tells us some interesting facts about the universe. The next day, Yujo is almost confident that she is the Little Mermaid and Hibiki is her prince. She had somehow learned to speak all of a sudden and perhaps had a deeper meaning to all of this, but the teenager takes her words too literally and gets flustered and runs away. Later that day, Hibiki climbs up to a lonely skyscraper, and unknown to him, Yuta follows him as well. At the top of the skyscraper, Hibiki has actually made a garden out of several flowers. Hibiki notices Yuta snooping around and calls her out. He asks her to keep all of it a secret. Yuta is amazed at the first flowers that she had ever seen. He then reveals the reason why he always wore headphones around his ears. He had a medical condition that made him scared when he heard too much noise. And even though this was a medical issue, even his parents felt disgusted toward him. All his childhood, he got nothing but contempt from his own mother until the day when bubbles came crashing down, and he remembers hearing a sweet song as if someone was talking to him. When Yute hears this, she suddenly rushes outside and hums the same song that Hibiki had been talking about. Hibiki is super happy that someone else could also hear the songs of the bubbles. That night, as Makoto was in her office, she realizes that ever since Uta's appearance, the bubble had been having more and more abnormalities. However, before she can research further into this, the members of the Undertaker crew barge into her lab and take her captive. The whole Blue Blazers crew realizes that Makoto is gone. They find out that the Undertaker crew had been illegally streaming the Battle Corps matches outside of Tokyo, calling it the Death Match of Tokyo. The gadget they had received earlier was from one of their sponsors. The Blue Blazes soon receive a challenge from the Undertakers, who want them to compete for not only the week's rations, but also for Makoto, whom they've placed atop a large tower alongside the victory flag. This time around, Yuta decides to join the crew as well, and the match soon begins. However, using their gadgets, the Undertakers lure the whole crew into a pit that they cannot jump across. Only Yuta and Tabaki are able to make the large jumps because of their abilities and have to maneuver their way through the entire Undertaker team. During the process, however, Yuta is forced to hold hands with Hibiki and her hand just fades away that night. Finally, Hibiki also participates in the victory celebrations for the very first time. Everyone is cheerful and happy that everything is well. Yuta, however, is at the top of a skyscraper, staring at the tower before her. She feels like it's calling her back to her true form. Hibiki comes to talk to her, and just then, the light starts emitting the same bubbles again. The bubbles start taking over the entire country again. Just like five years ago, Yuta rushes back to the tower, believing that she is the cause of all this, and Hibiki tries to follow, but some mysterious red bubbles prevent him from following her. How was the video? We hope it was good. If so, please check these videos. Also, please comment down your thoughts and your suggestions for future videos. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing now to show the support to our channel. We hope to see you soon with another video right in this channel. Have a nice day.